This is a disaster. This is a slow burning disaster because it's, it's one that's been building up over time. And people need to wake up and realize that it's a desperate situation. It is an emergency. The international community need to respond now because we're seeing day by day, one in 10 children are dying a day. One in 10 children are dying a day and we cannot allow it to continue. It's time to respond. We must think about now, we must think about what we can do to save more lives. When you see the camp, you're shocked. It's not until you see it with your own eyes, you realize that, wow, this is the actual reality. This is the situation. And it takes a while for you to take it in because you can't believe that this is actually what's in front of you. One remarkable story is of a young girl, Bilai Hassan. But Bilai Hassan now is a gem. Bilai Hassan is a precious child. We heard that two of her sisters had passed away just days before. We learned that her mother, seven days ago exactly, had passed away in that spot where we were in that camp. And the father was not able to speak to us. The father could not say anything. The father would just look at us. And I'll never forget the look in her father's eye, that look of emptiness, that look of despair, that look of shock. Because the look in his eyes was, I've got nothing, I'm lost, I've lost my wife, I've lost two of my children and in my arms I hold the last member of my family and I hold her and she is on the brink of death. I'm within one of the camps, Alhamdulillah, we're happy to inform you that because of your support we're able to save the life of a one-year-old baby, Bilai here. Alhamdulillah, here is, here is the father, and the father is really suffering from shock in the knowledge that his mother, his, his wife has passed away. And Bilai now being taken by his father, inshallah, will be taken to the local hospital. Bilai is only one years old. Bilai's body is too weak to take any food, water, or medicines. And therefore, Bilai is being rushed to the hospital where inshallah Islamic Relief will be working with the local hospital here to save the life of Bilai. Because of the support of people, we were able to respond to the needs of Bilai Hassan. And despite the father losing his wife, losing two of his three girls, we were able to give him and support him in, in, in keeping alive his last daughter. Alhamdulillah, we're on the ground, we're working there, we're reaching out to areas where others aren't working, we're going out to those remote villages that people have forgotten about, and it's those remote villages where the people are most vulnerable, where the people have been forgotten. Currently at the moment, is doing vital, life-saving health checks on the people of this small village. Now what we're doing is weighing them, we're checking their height, and we're also looking at the circumference of their upper arms. Now by doing these checks, we're able to check their level of malnourishment. And subhanAllah, it's, it's, it's really challenging and difficult to see that such a small instrument like this can dictate whether or not someone is on the brink of life. And we're seeing children that are so malnourished that their upper arms are less than 10 centimeters in circumference. One image that I'll never forget is, is of Abdurrahman, a 10 month old baby. And when I remember the, the face of Abdurrahman, and when you look at his picture, you say to yourself, this is not a child. Because you look at his face and you know that the lack of nutrients in his body, the lack of any food, has meant that his hair has not been able to grow properly and that his face looks like a 90 year old man's face rather than a 10 month old baby's face and when he cries he has not enough energy to make a cry and when you see the facial expression of him crying out in need of help you see all of his cheekbones, you see parts of his skull. And, and you ask yourself, SubhanAllah, this is the reality. This is the situation. How fortunate we are 
everything that we have. And there are children at the age of 10 months old that at any second could die because of a simple thing like food, like water, like basic medicines that we really take for granted. So what's in front of you is children on the brink of death. And you sit back and, and you ask yourself, how have we allowed this to happen? How can we not respond knowing that children are really in the brink of death? And it's as simple as providing these supplementary foods for them, really rescuing them from this situation, saving lives. We need medicine, we need support to help our workers. We have the teams, we need more teams. We have the expertise, we have the knowledge, we know where the people are, but we need support to be able to get out to them. We have a limited amount of resources. It's difficult because it really kills us to know that we just need that bit more to reach out to more people.